Hi, in this talk I'm going to discuss why I think Numerai is important. So what is Numerai? Numerai is the hardest data science tournament on the planet, with over 11 million paid out. You first start with hedge fund quality data. It's clean and regularized, designed to be usable right away, and it's obfuscated, so it can be given out for free. As you can see there, you can download the data set. Then you can apply machine learning to predict the stock market. You can build a model using the example Python and R scripts, and everything you need to get started is in one package, right there. Then you can submit your predictions to control capital of the Numerai hedge fund. You can build a reputation to claim your place on the leaderboard, and you can stake your model to earn cryptocurrency. And this allows you to join the network and build the world's last hedge fund. So are you still confused? Well, Numerai is made of three different players or participants. There's the data scientists, the data science tournament, and the Numerai hedge fund. The Numerai data scientists participate on the staked leaderboard for these weekly participations or um, weekly tournaments. And you can see here in round 185 that this is one of the weekly tournaments that's going on. And these are the leaders or the data scientists that are winning the tournament. There's also the Numerai hedge fund, and this is their SEC Form D, which proves that they actually exist. So what does the Numerai hedge fund do? What it does is it takes the models from data scientists participating on the Numer Numerai data science tournament, and then they combine them together to create a meta model, and then it trades this meta model on the stock market. And Richard, who's the founder, believes that they've achieved a sort of meta model supremacy at Numerai. And you can see this when you look at the graph that's found in one of their most recent blog posts, which explains that compared to linear regression and machine learning models, the Numerai meta model actually outperforms both of them. They also have a really cool video on this, and the link is in the description below. So now we know that Numerai is made of three different participants the data science tournament, the data scientists, and the Numerai hedge fund. But where did this idea originate from? Well, if you look at Richard Crabe's background, he studied math and economics at UC Berkeley and Cornell. He created multiple startups prior to Numerai, and he worked as a quant at a hedge fund. He was also born in South Africa. So what we know from this is that he's a smart guy. He went to UC Berkeley and Cornell. He's entrepreneurial since he created multiple startups, and he actually has experience working at a hedge fund, and he was born in the same country as Elon Musk. This means that Richard has experience to run a hedge fund because he worked at one, and that's actually where the idea originated from. He was talking to his boss one day, and he wanted to you know, share data with other uh, people at his firm or outside of his firm. And his boss told him that you can't do that. And he wondered why not. And that's where the idea for Numerai originated from, probably in 2015. Over time, Numerai has changed how they pay their data scientists. Initially, they tried with PayPal, which was an epic fail. And then they used Bitcoin in 2016. Eventually, they decided, you know what? We're going to create our own token called Numerair, or NMR. And they airdropped this token to their data scientists. There was never an ICO or a fundraising event. The company did raise money privately from investors, but never in a public sale. And we know that Numerair, or NMR, is very interesting for two reasons. Uh, one, it can be bind by submitting successful submissions to the weekly tournament, and that's the only way that you can mine it. The token can be staked, and if you stake NMR, you could earn more NMR. But if your predictions are bad, then your tokens can be burned. And what this does is it produces better results than non-staked predictions. And it also helps to create network effects for the Numerai hedge fund, which no hedge fund has done before. And the team produced a very cool video on this, and the link is also in the description below. Next, we're going to talk about Erasure, which is an unstoppable decentralized data marketplace for predictions powered by the Numerai token. So why Erasure? 
Well, first, it helps to decentralize Numerare, the NMR token. And second, it makes Erasure a platform to build on. Decentralizing Numerare is important because initially the token was centralized and the Numerai hedge fund had control over what it can do. Eventually, the team decided, you know what, we're going to change that. We're going to cut the supply in half. We're going to give up control in the Ethereum smart contracts. And that's exactly what they did. And about six to seven months later, they launched it in its live. But Erasure can also be a platform. The team is specifically creating two products for the Erasure protocol. The first is Erasure Quant, which allows you to still sell your stock predictions on a decentralized marketplace. This is very similar to the original idea of the Numerai Data Science Tournament, except that now it's decentralized on the Erasure protocol. And what's cool about this is that anyone can participate and potentially if they're good enough, they could actually earn a full-time income just participating and getting paid on Erasure Quant. One of the coolest ideas and one of the coolest products that I think the Numerai team is working on is called Erasure Bay, which is a marketplace that allows you to buy and sell data of any kind. One of the exciting examples that they gave at ErasureCon, which was one of their most recent conferences, is that you could buy and sell zero-day exploits. And zero-day exploits are literally zero days that you need to fix a bug um, and if you don't fix it, it could affect millions of people using this type of software. Currently, companies like Google, Amazon, and Facebook pay upwards of $200,000 for zero-day exploits. But the problem is that it takes 90 to 120 days for these exploits to get paid. So with Erasure Bay, they instantly show up on there and people can buy um, and sell these predictions and if the predictions don't end up well, then the buyer can grief the seller, causing them to lose some of their stake. And what I think is exciting about this is that this will force these big data monopoly companies to start using Erasure Bay because they won't be able to take 90 to 120 days and not pay people for their work. They'll actually have to pay people for their work because they'll show up on here very quickly. I also think that you're going to see more use cases for Erasure as a platform coming soon. The team announced in May that they're going to give away over $1 million in NMR, and they're also working on a coinless hackathon. So you can expect to see more use cases outside of Erasure Quant and Erasure Bay from third-party teams. So where is this all going? Well, first, the team started with this Numerai hedge fund, that uses meta models, but it was quite centralized. And centralized meaning that the cryptocurrency, the token, and the model itself was centralized. The hedge fund itself will always be centralized. But now they have this hedge fund using meta models, but they have a protocol called Erasure that's decentralized, and they have a token that's more decentralized. And going forward, we're probably going to see different use cases for Erasure being this platform that they're trying to create. And I think in post-2021, you may see blockchain-based machine learning marketplaces. To understand what blockchain-based machine learning marketplaces are, you first have to look at the history of the technology industry. In general, the technology industry has 20-year cycles. It started first with the IBM era or the hardware era, and then it was commoditized by the microprocessor, which was an open source computer. And this moved value up the stack to Microsoft in the software era and the Microsoft operating system and the distribution they had. And then Linux and the web came along and it was open source software and free distribution. And that commoditized what Microsoft did. And then value moved up the stack again to Google in the networks era and the data era that we're in today. And the data and all the value is inside all this data that they have. And then crypto comes along and it has open source data. And this could potentially commoditize what Google and all these data monopolies do today. 
In an article from Fred Ursham, co-founder of Coinbase, an investor in Numerai, he wrote about blockchain-based machine learning marketplaces in March of 2018. In this, he explains that machine learning models trained on data from blockchain-based machine learning marketplaces have the potential to create the world's most powerful AI. They combine private machine learning, which allows for training to be done on sensitive private data without revealing it, and blockchain-based incentives, which allows these systems to attract the best data and models to make them smarter. He believes that these new types of data blockchain-based machine learning marketplaces are going to transition us out of the current era of Web 2.0 data monopolies into the Web 3.0 era of open competition for data and algorithms, which both are directly monetized. And this origin that he had for his idea came about in 2015 when he was talking to Richard. So you can see that Richard's idea with Erasure potentially could have been prompted by Fred and vice versa, Richard's idea with Numerai prompted Fred's idea with blockchain-based machine learning marketplaces. And the implications for this, he believes, is quite huge because value can get moved up the stack from data to algorithms. Said another way, they create a direct business model for AI, both feeding and training it. And so that's why I think, you know, we're in this 10 years out of this 20 plus year cycle with cryptocurrency and in the crypto network era. And I think within the next five years or so, you might see these blockchain based machine learning marketplaces start to appear. And I think this is the direction that Numerai is going. So overall, Numerai is a really exciting project. It's only been around for four years. It was started in October 2015, sometime around then. And then eventually it progressed over time with Numerai with Bitcoin, their own cryptocurrency and Erasure. And soon we're going to see Erasure Quant and Erasure Bay and more exciting things to come. And that's why I think Numerai is very important. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.